Um, I'd more so like to talk about the problem that's in the city. Tina Forrester is a new widow. 83 murders in three months. 172 murders in six months. 336 in 2017, and my husband was number 334. It happened around 7.30 Monday night. Baltimore police say Jim Forrester was in front of the Baltimore Tattoo Museum where he worked as a piercer. Investigators say two men approached Jim, tried to rob him, and then shot him in the chest. Jim was on the phone with Tina when the shooting happened. I bet you everybody's Christmas is going to be spectacular, but mine, mine is going to be rifled with despair and the, the sound of my husband being murdered over and over and over again. Tina, devastated by the loss of her husband, is frustrated by the violence gripping the city. There were four murders the same day as my husband. And then I hear that the city leaders are getting a raise, but they're cutting the costs of criminal investigations, they're cutting the costs for surveillance, and that is the only thing that is going to get justice for my husband. Hours before Jim's viewing, police released this video, which they say shows the two suspects walking near the murder scene. There's two people right now that are going to know that their surveillance pictures out there and their behavior is going to become different than it's been the last couple of days. They're murderers. They're people that need to be taken off the street and taken off the street now. If you have any information about the suspects, you should call Baltimore Police at 410-396-2100. We're live tonight outside police headquarters. Vanessa Herring, WBAL-TV 11 News.